Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to Turkey's Hurriyet newspaper on April 10, 2024, Turkey is considering deploying its Russian-made S-400 air defense systems at the Iraqi border. This move, if realized, would mark the first operational use of these systems since their acquisition in 2019. The deployment is seen as a response to recent regional threats, particularly Iranian missile strikes, and could further strain Turkey's relations with NATO allies. The S-400 Triumph missile system, also known as the SA-21 Growler in NATO terminology, is a long-range air defense system developed and produced by Almazanti. Capable of countering various targets including aircraft equipped with electronic countermeasures, reconnaissance aircraft, tactical and theater ballistic missiles, as well as cruise missiles like the Tomahawk, the S-400 has a range of up to 400 kilometers and can engage targets at altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. It has the ability to detect stealth aircraft and engage up to 36 targets simultaneously across different altitudes and distances. Since its introduction into service with the Russian Armed Forces in 2007, the S-400 has become a cornerstone of Russia's surface-to-air missile capability, with operational deployments in Syria and sales to countries including Turkey, China, India, and Algeria. The system features multiple radars for precise surveillance and command, including the 92N2E Grave Stone Firing Radar and the 91N6E Big Bird Acquisition Radar. Command and control vehicles like the 55K6E coordinate air surveillance and threat prioritization, integrating the system into a layered air defense network. Its modular design allows for the use of various missile types and radars, enhancing its versatility in addressing diverse threat scenarios. Despite geopolitical tensions it may provoke, particularly with NATO, the incorporation of such advanced technologies enhances its international standing. Turkey's procurement of the S-400 in 2019 sparked condemnation from the West due to its incompatibility with NATO systems and concerns over the security of Western technologies. Despite persistent warnings from the US against its activation and subsequent sanctions, the S-400 has yet to be deployed operationally. Turkey's current decision to deploy the S-400 is reportedly aimed at defending against drones and potential ballistic threats from Iran, which has recently launched significant attacks on Israel. The purchase of the S-400 cost Turkey approximately $2.5 billion, but the indirect costs have been much higher due to Turkey's exclusion from the F-35 supply program, resulting in estimated losses exceeding $9 billion. The U.S. has prohibited Turkey from acquiring F-35s, citing concerns that Russian technicians could access data compromising the aircraft's stealth capabilities. Analysts have varying opinions on the accuracy and motivations behind these reports. Ali Bakir of Qatar University suggests it could be a trial balloon, operational necessity, or possibly false news. However, if true, the deployment would serve as a defense against ballistic missile threats, particularly from Iran, amid escalating regional tensions. Suleiman Ozeran, a lecturer at American University and senior fellow at the Orion Policy Institute, sees the potential deployment as serving several strategic objectives for Ankara, including addressing domestic criticism, affirming military cooperation with Moscow, and asserting Turkey's strategic position between Russia and NATO. Although then-acting Deputy Secretary of State Victoria Nuland hinted at the possibility of reinstating Turkey into the F-35 program if the S-400 issue were resolved, the continued presence of the S-400 remains a significant point of contention with the United States. Decisions regarding the S-400 acquisition have placed Turkey in a delicate position, requiring a potential realignment towards a stronger alliance with NATO, despite initial efforts to distance itself from the alliance. This development underscores the complex diplomatic challenges Turkey faces in balancing its relations with NATO and strategic partners like Russia. That's all for now, see you later.